Hello, welcome to Mimi's Keepsakes. I'm Arnell, back with the 100 Day Project again. We're on day 54, heading towards number 100 very fast. Um, so today we're doing uh, the a Joey Defee Quick and Easy Pocket. That's what Tina from Shabby Dabby Duda um, called it. So when you glue it onto a page, you can glue it three ways, obviously, and then you'll have a pocket way in the back. You have a pocket here, and if you don't want a double pocket, just glue everything down. You'll have a pocket here, and also in here, and you can also just glue it there and then have a pocket here. So again, or you can even glue this as a belly band. The usual old story, if you've been watching the past, 54 days you know there's options on you can change the look of a pocket by simply the way you're gluing it onto a page this would be easy to just paper clip it into your book as well add some extra writing space here with coffee dyed paper options are endless again i feel like i'm saying the exact same thing every day but it's a very simple and easy project and today i am going to cheat a little bit because when I made that I just simply loved the just the simplicity of the music paper because there's so many pockets if you start adding things in here and they're kind of peeking out you know it changes the look of your pocket so if you have back page or the, the background paper is too busy I'm thinking it's going to be very busy but printed paper or scrapbook paper would be beautiful too but I'm going to cheat and be very boring today and make it from only um, music paper just because I really like the look it's neutral and it is it's just easy and maybe what I'll do is I'll just resize them to see the different sizes that we can get to make it just maybe a little bit more interesting let's see how far we get with this so you start by just making a small fold on your page to and then the next fold would be just to fold it all the way to the end of the fold here all the way through And did I do okay not straight that's better so that little flap there that would make form the one pocket that will be glued down all the way to the bottom don't want to lose my pen Okay, so you'll have almost like a tube now, both ends are open. And then all you'll do is flip this up from there. And that is your pocket. So the next gluing, you're simply going to glue that part down and that part of the little flap pop it over and glue it down so then oops it's still wet i'm thinking i glued that down the it forms a pocket on this side here in between it's just so wet there there you have a pocket and then when you glue it down you can create another pocket the other option is you can obviously glue both sides down and then have a double pocket here I mean, there's just too many options. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to cut this top edge off. That has a lot of white up there. Just because I'm thinking that just looks a little nicer. The other thing with the music paper, even though this is actually upside down with the music notes, it doesn't look upside down with book page you'll have a, another problem or you know some of the writing will be upside down i don't normally care about that so it's not an issue for me but if that's an issue for you just remember that 
so let's start let's make a skinnier one just quickly to show you again so the first fold i just especially i like to put my ruler there because i can't do anything straight just to kind of get it straight but maybe i'll fold it though over this way then i don't have that writing big writing there so the first fold is that and then you fold it over in half so this would be like a very tall skinny only for like a tall skinny tag obviously inside fold it in half glue it the little flap fold the big flap over I'm gonna smooth that glue and make sure it comes down and then just flip this flap over this could look pretty in a tall skinny journal and then you put the glue on the top and the one side and glue it down and your pocket is done it's pretty easy like i say this one would be for a tall skinny journal there would be go in one tag you'll have a pocket here and you can put notches in i'm not going to until i'm done decorating or until i put it in the journal and you'll have a pocket here because my glue is wet the edge will still lift up i can take my hand out of the way pocket here and then whichever way you glue it up you'll have more pockets glue it in your journal so okay let's do like a mass make i'm thinking let's make this one a regular size which is size on sizes let's do this one this way and see if how these two come out when they're done they will obviously be probably more stubby and smaller let's do one not as skinny and one more what shall we do with one more uh, I don't think let's just do another one like this my head is spinning today I <laughs> I can't think oh I had oh let's just do this first so that this is our mass making and I actually like if I fold that over I do like the difference there let's do that this one will go this way or shall we do it let's do it this way Just deciding where i want to do my folds let's do that one to stubby as well and i actually do like all of these okay so let's start mass making and just do the folds that first little fold let's put that I I'm trying, I've said this before numerous times, to get into the habit to put my things back exactly where they should be. Because I tend to you know, use the ruler and just put it here and then put papers on top of it. And before you know it, my ruler is gone. Okay. Trying, 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 trying. Let's see if we do... These two will be very stubby little pockets but let's see how they turn out this way i've never made these pockets so i am just playing this one i want that That's the first fold, 
second fold we're going to let's do this so you can see what I'm doing do that second fold oh I was saying yesterday after I finished the video I went outside I think talking about my irises almost you know coming above brown sprouting you can see the leaves already starting i went outside and i had the best time in the garden it was oh it was just such a beautiful day anyway and the dogs were running around just playing happy to be outside because the doggies that we are dog sitting i don't want to just leave them on their own my dog will stay in the garden but i'm not sure about them and that's not my dogs i don't want to lose them <laughs> so i usually take them outside play with them outside take them for a walk and then the rest of the time i keep them in the house and they can go out on like the porch by the living room but they can't leave that area it's there's a fence our yard is fenced in as well but even our own dogs still find spots to sometimes escape and the neighbors have to phone and say hey come pick up your dog luckily they know her by now Anyway, so these two little doggies, they were just running around and playing. They got pretty dirty because I was repotting a couple of things. So they played in the, that black potting soil. Oh my goodness, I had to bath them, but give them a bath. Luckily, they are just like teeny tiny. There are there was some um, smaller wiener dogs or dash ounce. But the miniature ones, the small ones. So it's so easy to give them a bath and brush them. Everything is just fast, easy. Cleaning up after them is fast and easy because they're so little. Cute. Anyway, it was just good to be out there in the garden for a couple of hours. And not be up here organizing and labeling and cleaning okay so that though that's glued and done so we'll flip over our pocket so this one i'm not sure let's see which way so I'm thinking maybe I'll do it this way so this pocket and then this one is big enough like this one would probably be good if you make a tall skinny tag especially for this pocket I do like the way they look because they won't take up a lot of space on a page you can glue them down where did i put the bone folder see that's what happened um you can glue them down on a page say for instance this is your page glue them down here and then you still have some of the printed paper or writing space on top where with this one you do lose a lot of that in the background but that is also part why they are nice. I don't know. There's always everything looks different once you add it to your journal for sure. What happened here? Let me just see. That was my cutting. Because I did cut a little bit off before we started. I did cut the music paper smaller because it was a bigger you know, the most music papers are big pages just get them flattened out need some glue here okay then 
just glue the pocket shut and you're done so yep joey the fee it is a quick and easy pocket for sure i'm going to see if i can find joey's video as well i think she usually uses book pages and i don't think she uses a lot of if i'm correct i haven't watched her channel for a while and i always I, when i watch it i'm thinking oh wow that's just amazing ideas anyway see if i can find the video that's what i was trying to say okay and in no time we have Quite a bit of pockets done and used up some music paper because if you're like me you'll probably have a lot of music paper I have some glue on my finger so one two three four five and the other one is here somewhere six the one that we made before we started this is the prototype anyway Let's stick with five. That we, we'll stick with the ones we can see. And there it is. Six. Oh, there's seven. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in 16 minutes. But I or also spend a couple of minutes just talking and talking. <laughs> so anyway, let's start decorating because we have totally blank a blank canvas to start with obviously this i find this decorating this way easier than doing a printed page just because you you can do just about anything i mean i can just decide okay this this fussy, fussy cut piece is lying there let me see if i can use this on there and maybe I was thinking if there's one no okay maybe maybe not let's just play around that maybe there's a smaller piece here but that's a bit much um and we can have the butterfly there oh, I have lots of glue on my fingers I keep forgetting to bring that nice runny I have a very runny hand sanitizer that I found at um, Walmart and it's because it's kind of runny it's easy to clean your hands with clean the glue off your hands I'm I don't know I can't remember who where I heard that but anyway keep forgetting to bring it upstairs I'm losing the train train of thought um so we can do something like that and maybe let's see how this page look behind the music paper I need a bigger piece actually Just add some in here or I do like this dark the brown edge there the aged look because that would be okay it still goes in there that's glued down and um Hmm, 
what shall we put? I need a little bit of texture, I think. I'm trying to pick up at these. Okay, no, I can't reach it. Some, just a teeny tiny piece of fabric. Just, but it's stuck under my chair. So we'll, we'll not use the fabric. And I just think, and maybe if I glue this, uh, glue, ink this up a little bit. Yes, I think I need ink on here. And... Going to use Tim Holtz again, and maybe we'll just go all out today and ink even the edge. Oh, that is too much. The edges here. That was a bit more than what I wanted or had envisioned. It's all good. And I do want to ink this up because there's lots of white and we have a beige background and I keep those little pieces. I can go in and cut them out with maybe a, a, like a little exacto knife, but I'm just going to ink it and then it just kind of disappears there in the background, the whiteness. But most of you already know that. I am just, I don't know, I don't always feel like I want to ink everything. I don't want everything to be too grungy. And that's just a personal preference. But like this again, it's just too white with the rest of it. So just a little bit of ink. I'm just going to ink even the specimen card, some of it. I don't think the butterfly really needs ink, but just let's go ahead and even give him a little bit of a dusting. Um, oh. Okay, so uh, what I was going to say about me being in the garden yesterday, so I'm thinking today I'm going to do that again. Once I'm done here, I did clean my room for a couple of hours so I think I have done my dues in here I'll go outside for an hour or so come in make supper and then I can spend an hour or so again tonight cleaning this room and labeling and all of that exciting things and maybe one of these days. So yes, my tulips has buds on them. So excited about that. It'll... I have one bed here at the back of the house that has... I don't know what I did that year, but I went tulip crazy. And I, I think I probably planted two or three bags of tulip bulbs in that bed in the fall and the next year and you know you kind of plant it in the fall I kind of forgot about it well I forgot how many I put in there and that next year or that that's year the next year spring when the tulip bulbs were blooming I was in South Africa visiting my parents and family and so my son sent me a photo of all of these tulips and I asked him where are you that's just beautiful and he said that's in our garden <laughs> I just totally forgot and I didn't expect it would look that beautiful tulips you definitely need lots one or two I decided is not cutting it and unfortunately you know over time you do lose some of the bulbs so I think this year in the fall there's definitely a couple of spots I need to write it down because I won't forget where that I need to add more bulbs in the spring or in the fall I'm wondering if that 
not totally convinced about this, but let's just add it. Because otherwise we might be here until tomorrow. And I would really like to go play in my garden a little bit, please. <laughs> Okay, and if any of you know where I can find trims like this, um, those daisy trims, and I'm really looking for some of that that I can just have here, uh, because I don't have any of that. I think I have just this much of that yellow, not a lot. And then I have this little bit left from this I bought on Amazon, but just a teeny tiny bit left. And that's it. And I do like using it like for little snippets, those fabric dangles we made. I think like something like this one. That was just one little... I need some st stuff like that. If you know an Etsy shop or a shop in Canada where you can buy those, please let me know. Okay, I think I'm going to stop here with this one. Let's move on to another one. Um, where did I put them? Oh, shall we try a tall skinny one? Shall we dare? I did see a sticker. I'm back with my... Well, there's something tall and skinny. Oh, I saw this was what I was thinking about. I don't want that, I think. Shall we go with that? And, okay. Let's see what else. I had this one here. Oh, I do like that. Oh, I do want that underneath. Hmm. Okay, and then we probably need something for the bottom here. I have this stamp. Again, I just have something sitting here on this side that I'm going through. And just to see what can I add to the page. Um, this little girl is standing here, but that just looks weird. Okay, no. Scrap that. Not doing that. There's a teeny tiny piece of lace sitting here. There or there. Okay, let's leave it there. I actually like that, but I'll have to glue it down really well. So when I add something, oh, nothing. Oh, yes, something in that pocket. Something do go in that pocket that it doesn't get stuck. And then I feel like I don't know if the row, do the flowers really need to go together or not? <laughs> Yes, I don't like the two flowers on there. So I need something else. Maybe a lady or a something butterfly, maybe just not a, another flower. There's a butterfly. Oh, it's just a blank one. Um... <clears throat> There's a blue butterfly. There's a couple of smaller butterflies. Maybe pink. Okay, let's see what we can do with those. I had 
as I was thinking, I had butterfly. Um, that might look nice for this. Let's see. We have the flower there, this here with that. That looked very busy or not, I'm not sure. And then maybe I need the lace here just to break up all the squares here. Yes, let's do that. Again, I think I do need to just add um, ink on there. Especially just this at least. I don't think I'm going to ink up everything. Just this white again. Just to have that this, the background look as beige as the music background. Okay, so I need to tell you about the 100, day 100 giveaway names before I forget. So the one the day 100 giveaway is today is Tammy and Donna. And you can I'll have you in the description box again if you want to double check if you think it's you if you have commented on the videos then you can the this the last name would be in the description box as well. Again, I don't want to mention anybody's last names if they didn't give consent and that's why I do it that way. That needs a little bit of glue. <clears throat> That one needs more glue or I just need to hold it down a little longer. Oh, and the butterfly is upside down. Let me just double check. Yes, it was. But no, it's little tentacles sit this way, but then the writing is upside down. And the leaves are upside down. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to put it this way. It looks better for me this way. But it, the stamp is actually upside down now. That's very interesting. Let's use the... Oh, excuse me for dropping that. Don't know how loud that vo that might sound on the microphone. Okay, and that's it. I do like these because they're very neutral. They can go with anything. And yeah, just like these. Shall we decorate one more quickly? Let's do this one that would be kind of like this one had the very small pocket in here. So I think if I do these, I'll make like very skinny long tags to go into this kind of awkward small pocket, but it's another, and then you'll have a pocket there and a pocket here. But I do like them. So what shall we do on this one? Looking at this black and white sticker, but it's too big. Again, I have some beautiful butterfly stamps. Mm -hmm. Let's see. There's a black and white stamp that might, or sticker that might work better don't actually like it and this is just those Victorian cutouts okay. 
And my fingers are covered in ink. <laughs> or not ink. Oh my. Uh, my fingers are covered in glue. Very sticky glue. Um, I had these. I think I like that. And then just add... Just to keep it simple, I have like a really small piece of lace hanging around here. Maybe just do that. Oh boy, it's very busy. It's very heavy for a small pocket like this. Hmm. Shall we take some of it out? Maybe just do that and keep it simple rather than crazy. But I do feel that I need something this way now just to kind of balance it. But still, it's very busy and heavy, but let's leave it at that. And um, shall, what shall we add? What else? Or should we... I just said it's very busy and here I want to add stuff. Maybe just that. Yeah, let's do that. I just need a little bit of ink on here again. Just to get rid of some of that white and I'm not even adding ink to the brush. I know that was that's my vintage photo brush. And we just used it. Okay, I think I need some sunshine. I've been inside too long today. Yeah, let me know what you guys are up to. Are you, especially here in North America, is everybody getting ready for spring and excited? Well, and in Europe too. Getting ready for spring and feeling excited. I don't, spring just feels like renewal. For me. Okay, sticker time. I do struggle. Sorry, that might, I don't know if you, it was in front of the camera, I didn't see my hand very close to the camera. Okay, and then there. So it is Tammy and Donna that's nominated for the 100 day or day 100 draw, which will be and oh, if we open and close our eyes, that's how the first 50 felt. And so I'm thinking the second 50 will probably feel the same. Here are our decorated pockets. The other ones are just sitting here. I think we said we made seven of them. Let's get stuff out of the way. Decorated pockets. Can we put all of them in here? Okay, so those are the pockets we decorated today and we, so that we have four there and then one, two, three, four extra. Oh, that was the extra one that I did beforehand. Thank you for watching. I am off to the garden to get a little bit of sun, vitamin D and just get my hands dirty and probably come home with a couple of dirty dogs again but it is all fun and games it's spring it's wonderful oh, that is not part of the, the dog pocket so i hope you guys are all having fun and having a great day uh, i'll be back tomorrow with day 55 of the 100 day project and i will see you again soon bye